This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm in Wolverhampton today at the Civic Hall. With me, I've got Khalil Majid. How are we doing, Khalil? I'm all right, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. Lee Beard's been talking a lot about you recently, saying how, how, much, how pleased he's with your progress and stuff. Yeah. How are you finding things? Uh, it's going well, it's going good, training hard, yeah. and a lot of hard sparring. Yeah. You looking forward to turning pro? Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, got to wait till I'm 18 now. <laughs> Lee asked me to ask you specifically about your jeans. Can you talk to me about these? Uh, slim fit. <laughs> these kind of look like a, an Essex kind of Joey Essex number. Is that fair? Uh, that's, I've been watching a lot of the only way is Essex. Have you or not? A lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, talk to me a little bit about what life's like in training with Lee, Lee Beard in Stockport. It's hard. It's no easy sessions. Mm. Brutal sessions. Yeah. Hard. Obviously you've got Jack Catrall in the gym as well. Got Jack Catrall and we've got uh, Joe Costello that comes down sparring. Uh, we've got Cecil McCalla. Uh, we've got Raza Hamza that comes down sparring. We've got uh, he's, Jason. He's making his debut on this card actually, isn't he? Yeah, Raza's fighting uh, today in a few hours. Yeah. So yes, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about your amateur record and how many fights you've had as an amateur? Um, I've had about 60 fights. Um, I've been to the national finals. I've boxed for England. I've uh, been shown to the Europeans. I just I fought for England on uh, I fought for England in March the first last year. I won the gold for England, um, but then I damaged my hand. I damaged my hand in the ABA, so I had a bit of time out. But back in now, but it's training. Hard. Do you think your style is more suited to the pro ranks or the amateur? Uh, definitely, I've been training with Lee. Definitely, because um, I've been down with uh, in Stockport with Lee. My style's like going into more, more of a pro style. What weight will you be fighting at? Uh, we're looking at lightweight, 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 like Walter. It's a great division, the lightweight division, isn't it? In England, it's booming at the moment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, Speaking yeah. of which, we've got a main event in the lightweight division tonight. Terry Flanagan, looking forward to it. Do you reckon Stephen Ormond or Terry Flanagan? What's your thoughts on this? Uh, I'm with Terry Flanagan points. Yeah. yeah. Big, 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 big shout that is again. Someone else putting their neck on the line. I was Terry Flanagan, twelve yeah. rounds. Have you seen much of Terry Flanagan? I do. Have you seen much of Terry Flanagan? Yeah, I've, I've um. I've seen him. Um, I've seen him for quite a while now. To be honest, I've seen him sparring. I went to actually watch him spar against Eddie Matthews, and uh, I've been watching a couple of his fights. And Price Fighter, mm -hmm. box, you know, wicked. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. Well, listen. Thanks for giving me a bit of time. No worries. Um, I look forward to your pro debut. As I said, Lee, Lee Bids tipped you to be the next Amir Khan. That's quite. <laughs> that's quite a statement in itself. Just gotta see. Yeah, indeed.